हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दीपक पांडे हियर एंड दिस इज द सिक्स एपिसोड ऑफ ब्रेकिंग गेट 2020 इन 45 डेज आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव वॉच द प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स एंड यू हैव कवर द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिंगल यूनिट विदाउट केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड विद केमिकल रिएक्शन इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस मल्टीपल सिस्टम मीन्स रिएक्टर प्लस सेपरेटर सिस्टम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन एज वेल एज रिसाइकलिंग एंड सेपरेशन कंसिडर अ रिएक्टर हियर and suppose the reaction a giving b is taking place so just for simplicity i am considering this reaction okay the fresh feed is entering from here and suppose the fresh feed contains 75 moles of a the recycle stream is coming from here which contains 25 mole a and both of them combine to form the feed to the reactor it is called the total feed or the mixed feed suppose it contains 100 mole a now in the reactor reaction occurs and some conversion is obtained the conversion which is obtained in the reactor is suppose given as 75% now this conversion is called single pass conversion or per pass conversion what is the meaning of single pass conversion this conversion is defined between the point where a is entering the reactor not this point this is not the entering the reactor this is the fresh feed right this point and this point between these two points how many moles of a has been converted so suppose 75% is the conversion so how many mole of a must be left here uh, after 75% are reacting there must be 25 mole of a and rest should be converted into b according to the stoichiometry how many mole of b should be formed 75 b this is the single pass conversion which is obtained in the reactor fine and this conversion is defined between these two points this is the fed this is the leaving fed minus leaving divided by fed is equal to single pass conversion right now the product from the reactor is sent to the separator the separator separates a and b sometimes complete separation means in one stream you get pure b other stream you get pure a sometimes there may be you may get a mixture of a and b here and a mixture of a and b here depends upon the question okay so suppose in this case all the moles of b are separated and the moles of a remaining are recycled so 25 moles of a fine this is the recycle stream so this is the process fine now the conversion which was present between these two points which was defined between these two point was called as single pass conversion now when there is a single unit in a reacting system you can define only one type of conversion but when there are multiple unit in presence of recycle if recycling is also present in that case you can define two types of conversion one of them was single pass conversion what is the other one suppose you consider the system what is this the overall system now how many moles of a are present here and how many moles of a are present here between these two points if you define the conversion it is called overall conversion so can you guess the value of overall conversion here the amount of a fed is 75 the amount of a present here we are not talking about b it's a so what is what is the amount of a here zero divided by the amount of a fed at this point multiplied by 100 so what is the overall conversion 100%. However, the single pass conversion was only 75%. The overall conversion is 100%. So, first concept here, when there is multiple system along with recycle, the value of single pass conversion and the overall conversion will be different. But if there is a single system, there is only reactor without recycling, there will be only one type of conversion. Even if you define define overall conversion and single pass conversion, their values will be same. Fine. now whenever in gate exam this kind of problems are asked whenever you will uh, go through the previous year problems you will find that the question always contains reactor and separator only there is no third unit because if they involve a third unit as well suppose if there was a question in gate in 90 two elemental gases a and b are reacting to form a liquid c in a steady state process as per the reaction a plus b giving c the single pass conversion spc stands for single pass conversion of reaction is 20% and hence recycle is used 
The product is separated completely in pure form. The fresh feed has 49% A and B each along with 2% impurities. The maximum allowable impurities in the recycle stream is 20 mole percent. The amount of purge stream per 100 moles of fresh feed. The first step for solving this kind of problem is you make the figure and label all the information given in the problem. So the figure can be made as this is the reactor, the product coming out of the reactor, the separator, the product coming out of the separator, the recycle stream, the purge stream. Do not always make the purge stream. If there is a purging in the problem, then only make the purge stream. Do not develop a habit of making recycle and purge together. Just read the problem first. Analyze if there is a purge stream or not. So this is the problem, right? As I have discussed in the previous classes that whenever in a process calculation problem amount or flow rate is asked, they must provide the basis and as you can observe here, the amount of purge stream per 100 mole of fresh feed, so basis is here. So no need to assume other basis, just take F is equal to 100. So this fresh feed must contain, I am just labeling the information here that 49 of A, 49 of B and 2 mole of inerts. Okay. Then there is a reactor and the reactor attains single pass conversion of 20%. Fine. The reaction is given. Okay. The product is separated completely in pure form. What is the product? Product is C. Means this is pure product. There is nothing else and it is completely separated. So it has, let us call this stream as P and this stream contains only the product C. Right. So if this is C, this stream should contains what? What do you think? What is the product? Uh, what are the species present here? There should be A, there should be B, there should be C, there should be nuts. Now you remove C completely, then what should be left here? A, B and inerts. Obviously the amount of A, B and inerts here and the A, B and inerts here are going to remain same because I am removing only C. Now there should be no confusion. You cannot say that the composition of this and this and this stream should be same. It can never be same, right? Because the species are not same. Now, if this stream is having A, B and inerts and it is a purge recycle splitting point. So this should also have A, B and inerts and obviously this should also have A, B and inerts. And this has A, B and inerts. This has A, B and inerts. So the mixed feed going to the reactor should also contain A, B and inerts. This is how I uh, uh, attempt to solve this kind of problem. First, make the figure. Select the basis, then ask yourself that the streams contains which component. Once the picture is clear, now you are ready to solve the problem. Is there any extra information given in this which I am not using here? So let me check. Okay, so the maximum allowable impurities. What are impurities? I am writing here inerts. Impurities should be treated as inerts, right? In recycle stream is 20 mole percent means the maximum concentration of uh, inerts in the recycle stream is 0.2. So what should be the actual concentration? Whenever this kind of words are used, you should take the maximum concentration as the actual concentration. Means the inert composition here is 0.2. That's fine. Now nothing else is given in the problem and what they are asking, they are asking the value of P dash. Now the quickest way, now most, achha, okay, let me explain you first that what the student make mistake, what they, they do, they have a habit of writing overall balance, right? And then what they are going to do, simply 100 is equal to P plus P dash and there they are going to make mistake. I told you that total moles does not remain constant when there is a chemical reaction, if the reaction is not A giving B. So in this case, you cannot write this, the first mistake, you should not make it. Okay, now. As I told you that at the purge recycle splitting, the composition of all these remains same. So what can you think about the composition here? Please note that this is not the amount. This is the composition. Let me write it here separately. Suppose Xi in the recycle stream is equal to 0.2. So what is the Xi in the purge stream? 0.2 obviously. Fine. Now as I told you in the previous uh, lectures uh, that Whenever you have this kind of problem, always try to write the inert balance first and check whether you are able to solve the problem or not. If yes, then it's fine. If not, then we have to go for other balances. So what is the amount of inert present here? 2% of 100, that is 2. And what is the amount of inert present there? 
that is 0 0.2 into p dash fine so just by writing as one balance just by writing inert balance for the overall system right it says that the feed contains 2% inert so it has 2 mole of inerts and it should be equal to because it is a steady state process fine even if it is not steady state we have to solve the problem by assuming steady state only otherwise you can never solve the problem so 2 mole of inerts are present here to have steady state as i have explained in purging there must be 2 mole of inerts so this must be equal to 0 0.2 into p dash so what is p dash p dash is equal to 10 now so simple you can you have to find the amount of purge stream per 100 mole of fresh feed and p dash has some equal to 10 the problem is solved this is the time required for solving this much problem so this next problem is from gate 2015 this problem also contains a reactor and a splitter right the diagram is for a steady state process so again it is mentioned in the problem that it is a steady state process even if it is not mentioned we have all we have to always assume that the process is steady state the fresh feed to the reactor consists of 96 mole percent a 4 mole percent inert right the stoichiometry of the reaction is a giving c so this is the special case a part of a reactor effluent is recycled reactor effluent part is recycled right the molar flow rate of the recycle stream is 0 0.3 30% of the fresh feed the product stream p contains 50 mole percent c the percentage conversion of a in the reactor based on a entering at point 1.1 point 1 is given here right so first thing that they are asking a conversion conversion is independent of the basis so the first step after the figure figure was given in the problem is the assumption of basis now where the composition is known obviously you can say that the feed composition is known in detail so suppose if it is fresh feed you can take basis here that fresh feed is equal to 100 so what is given the composition of the feed it has 96 mole percent a and 4 mole percent inerts fine now for this problem because the reaction stoichiometry is a giving c means the total moles remain same even uh, uh, if the reaction is taking place and nothing is leaving out from the system except p so can i say that in this problem f is equal to p yes why because the stoichiometry is a giving c so first step the moment you select f is equal to 100 as your basis by using this equation p also becomes 100 right now the second important point here the question says that it is a steady state process also inerts are entering as i explained in the concept of purging if inert is entering the system and you are not removing the inerts with the help of a purge stream you can never have steady state but the question says it is a steady state and as you can observe in the diagram there is no purge stream here what does it mean i hope you can understand if the purge stream is not there so inerts are not going out from the purge stream but they have to go out from the system otherwise there will be accumulation so from there uh, from where they can leave the system of course from the purge stream sorry from the product stream it means in this problem definitely the product stream contains inerts right so what it contains inerts fine it is also given that the product stream contains 50% C so it should contain 50% C and also because the conversion of A is not 100% it should also contains some A now if you use the inert balance equation for the overall system which says that amount of inert here and amount of inert there must be same so what is the amount of inert leaving from here you can directly write is equal to 4 of course you can write the equation but save your time you can directly write it is equal to 4 if p is 100 what is the amount of c 100 uh, sorry 50 percent of 100 that must be 50 and 50 and 4 so what is the amount of a 46 the total must be equal to 100 so first of all this is the overall balance you should be able to understand this right now in this case there was a special uh, reaction that is why i am able to write f is equal to p otherwise we cannot the second special case here was there is no purge stream and still the inerts are coming out of the system so there is only one possibility uh, possibility they must come out from the product stream right 
now what is asked in the problem the conversion based on this point and what is the conversion based on this point it is always called single pass conversion means you have to find the single pass conversion here now suppose if f was 100 and the question says the recycle stream flow rate is 0.3 of f it means that the recycle flow rate is equal to 30 and now in this case the composition of this stream this stream and this stream should be same now many students get confused here they ask me that it is it is not given anywhere that the composition of these three streams are same of course it is not provided that the we have to take the composition same but it is also not provided that it is pure product okay or it contains only c or it contains only a like this so this problem can be solved only if you assume that these three streams are having same composition there is no other way of solving the problem so if r is equal to 30 and the stream has the same composition as this so what is the composition 50 percent a 46 percent uh, 50 percent c 46 percent a and 4 percent inerts so it means that this should also have 50 percent c so what is the amount of c present here 15 50 percent of 30 or uh, 46 percent of 30 and then 4 percent of 30 what is the amount of inert what is 4 percent of 30 inert is equal to 1.2 fine and then what is the 46 percent of 30 or you can say that the rest is equal to a so what is the rest amount that becomes 16.2 and it is 13.8 uh, in the recycle stream that is a i and c now if you apply the balance for this and these two streams in is equal to out so if you add these two you can get the amount of a c and i at this stream so what is a here 13.8 plus 46 that becomes uh, 56 and then it is 59.8 i hope you can calculate this i'm just applying balance over the splitter in is equal to out in not is equal to 4 plus 1.2 that becomes 5.2 and c is equal to 15 plus 50 so c is equal to 65 fine now this is known this is known you can also write the a b c present at the point one what is a present here what is c present here there is no b of course so it is a c and a not so what is the a present here a coming from here that is 96 and a coming from here that is 13.8 so that becomes 96 plus 13.8 uh, applying balance on the mixing point that becomes 106 and 109.8 fine what is the amount of c however calculating the conversion of a you can do it from here so let us not calculate c and inerts what is the conversion of a based on point 1 a entering minus a leaving right divided by a entering right and they are asking percentage conversion so this must be multiplied by 100 you can calculate the value i'm not doing the calculations so in these two problems you can easily understand that in which case you can write total moles in is equal to total moles out and in which case you cannot write this okay so i hope these problems are going to make the concept of recycling and purging with chemical reaction more clear so i will explain the concept of energy balance in the upcoming lecture thank you very much